Thanks for joining me for another reading through the Bible in chronological order. We are in Proverbs today, chapter 19 through 21, reading from the Christian Standard Bible. Better a poor person who lives with integrity than someone who has deceitful lips and is a fool. Even zeal is not good without knowledge, and the one who acts hastily sins. A person's own foolishness leads him astray, yet his heart rages against the Lord. Wealth attracts many friends, but a poor person is separated from his friend. A false witness will not go unpunished, and the one who utters lies will not escape. Many seek a ruler's favor, and everyone is a friend of one who gives gifts. All the brothers of a poor person hate him. How much more do his friends keep their distance from him? He may pursue them with words, but they are not there. The one who acquires good sense loves himself. The one who safeguards understanding finds success. A false witness will not go unpunished, and the one who utters lies perishes. Luxury is not appropriate for a fool, for a fool how much less for a slave to rule over princes. A person's insight gives him patience, and his virtue is to overlook an offense. A king's rage is like the roaring of a lion, but his favor is like dew on the grass. A foolish son is his father's ruin, and a wife's nagging is an endless dripping. A house and wealth are inherited from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Laziness includes deep sleep, and a lazy person will go hungry. The one who keeps commands preserves himself. The one who disregards his ways will die. Kindness to the poor is a loan to the Lord, and he will give a reward to the lender. Discipline your son while there is hope. Don't set your heart on being the cause of his death. A person with intense anger bears the penalty. If you rescue him, you will have to do it again. Listen to counsel and receive instructions so that you may be wise later in life. Many plans are in a person's heart, but the Lord's decree will prevail. What is desirable in a person is his fidelity. Better to be a poor person than a liar. The fear of the Lord leads to life. One will sleep at night without danger. The slacker buries his hand in the bowl, but he doesn't even bring it back to his mouth. Strike a mocker and the unexpected learn a, lear learn a lesson. Dispute the discerning and he gains knowledge. The one who plunders his father and evicts his mother is a disgraceful, disgraceful and shameful son. If you stop listening to correction, my son, you will stray from the words of knowledge. A worthless witness mocks justice, and a wicked mouth swallows iniquity. Judgments are prepared for mockers, and beatings for the back of fools. Proverbs 20 Wine is a mocker, beer is a brawler. Whoever goes astray because of them is not wise. A king's terrible wrath is like the roaring of a lion. Anyone who provokes him endangers him. Honor belongs to the person who ends a dispute, but any fool can get himself into a quarrel. The slacker does not plow before planting season. At harvest time he looks and there is nothing. Counsel in a person's heart is deep water, but a counsel person of understanding draws it out. Many a person claim, proclaims his own loyalty, but who can find a trustworthy person? A righteous person acts with integrity. His children who come after him will be happy. A king sitting on a throne to judge separates, separates out all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I've kept my heart pure, I am cleansed from my sin. Differing weights and varying measures both are detestable to the Lord. Even a young man is known by his actions, by whether his behavior is pure and bright. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord made them both. Don't love sleep or you will become poor. Open your eyes and you'll have enough to eat. It's worthless, it's worthless, the buyer says. But after he is on his way, he gloats. There is gold and, multi and a multitude of jewels, but knowledgeable lips, lips are a rare treasure. Take his garment, for he has put up security for a stranger. Get collateral, if it is, for foreigners. Food gained by fraud is sweet to a person, but afterward his mouth is full of gravel. Finalize plans with counsel and wage war with sound guidance. The one who reveals secrets is a constant gossip. Avoid someone with a big mouth. 
Whoever curses his father or mother, his lamp will go out in darkness. An inheritance gained prematurely will not be blessed ultimately. Don't say, I will avenge this evil. Wait on the Lord, and he will rescue you. Differing weights are detestable to the Lord, and a dishonor's scales are unfair. Even a courageous person's steps are determined by the Lord, so how can anyone understand his own way? It is a trap for anyone to dedicate something rashly and later to reconsider his vows. A wise king separates out the wicked and drives the threshing wheel over them. The Lord's lamp sheds light on a person's life, searching the innermost parts. Loyalty and faithfulness guard a king. Through loyalty, he maintains his throne. And the glory of young men is their strength, and the splendor of old men is gray hair. Ladies and lashes and wounds purge away evil, and beatings cleanse the innermost parts. Proverbs 21 A king's heart is like channeled water in the Lord's hand. He directs it wherever he chooses. All a person's way seems right to him, but the Lord weighs hearts. During doing what is righteous and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. The lamp that guides the wicked, haughty eyes, and an arrogant heart is sin. The plans of the diligent certainly lead to profit, but anyone who is reckless certainly becomes poor. Be, making a fortune through a lying tongue is a vanishing mist to pursue with death. The violence of the wicked sweeps them away because they refuse to act justly. A guilty one's conduct is crooked, but the behavior of the innocent is upright. Better to live on the corner of a roof than to share a house with a nagging wife. A wicked person desires evil. He has no consideration for his neighbor. When a mocker is punished, the inexperienced become wiser. When one teaches a wise man, he acquires knowledge. The righteous one considers the house of the wicked. He brings the wicked to ruin. The one who shuts his ears to the city of the poor will himself also call out and not be answered. A secret gift soothes anger, and a covert bribe fierce rage. Justice executed is a joy to the righteous, but a terror to evildoers. The person who strays from the way of prudence will come to rest in the assembly of the departed spirits. The one who loves pleasure will become poor. Whoever loves wine and oil will not get rich. The wicked are a ransom for the righteous and the treacherous for the upright. Better to live in a wilderness than with a nagging and hot-tempered wife. Precious treasure and oil are in the dwelling of a wise person, but a fool consumes them. The one who pursues righteousness and faithful love will find life, righteousness, and honor. A wise person went up against a city of warriors and brought down its secure fortress. The one who guards his mouth and tongue keeps himself out of trouble. The arrogant and proud person named Mocker uh, acts with excessive arrogance. A slacker's craving will kill him because his hands refuse to work. He is filled with craving all day long, but the righteous give and don't hold back. The sacrifice of a wicked person is detestable, how much more so than when he brings it with ulterior motives. A lying witness will perish, but the one who listens will speak successfully. A wicked person puts on a bold face, but the upright one considers his ways. No wisdom, no understanding, and no counsel will prevail against the Lord. A horse is prepared for the day of battle, but victory comes from the Lord. So this grouping in the book of Proverbs, again, without thematic connection, but still pops of wisdom that we should regularly revisit and maybe add to our refrigerator door wisdom. But in more specific applications, thinking through one proverb a day just to reflect on its significance to the way that we live so that the way that we live is wise. Join me again for another reading through the Bible in chronological order tomorrow.